Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going over a Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Rally Art. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Southtown Mitsubishi for giving me some time with this Eclipse Cross. This particular one is available for sale for the time being. So if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. If you have any questions, just ask for Nick. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder that goes through a CBT automatic. Fuel economy is 25 around town and then 26 on the highway with power outputs being 152 horsepower and then 184 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood, first off, I love the metallic flake in this particular white paint. And then you guys can see we've got the Eclipse Cross badge there at the top. We've got a split light design, so you guys can see there with the lights at the top and then down below with the headlight itself. Then you've got your high beam just below that. And I like the overall design of the lighting cluster. I think it looks pretty cool. And then we have the Mitsubishi logo front and center. And then of course we've got this red painted front splitter that actually has the little rally art logo there. And putting it all together, I think they did a good job with the front end design. Coming around the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 225, 55, 18 in the front and over in the rear. You guys can see the wheels are completely blacked out, which goes with the sporty theme. Really cool with the fender flare around the side. Then you guys can see some mud flap action and then look at the trim along the side with our decal there. Of course, says Rally Art. And then here's your full side view with the Eclipse Cross. You guys can see the mirror cap blacked out. And again, I like the look of it. It has kind of a cool, almost like off-roady type design. Now here's our key fob, we have our unlock function, our lock function, and then the Mitsubishi logo there in the back. And popping into the rear, the hatch is uh, hydraulic with the operation, but you guys can see we've got a cargo cover built in from the factory. Of course, Rally Art Eclipse Cross, which is pretty cool. And look at all of the red piping that goes around, I think that looks great. And then you can see we've got a spare tire underneath as well. And when you're done with the cargo area, they give you this nice handle so that you can throw that down. And then look at the taillights. That is pretty neat. And then you have this spoiler here, which uh, actually says Rally Art there at the top. It's all blacked out. And of course, Eclipse Cross here on the back and then more Rally Art action as well. So putting it all together, I think the design on this is pretty cool, but let me know what you guys think about this Rally Art. Now take a look at the door panel. You guys can see the cloth trim here and then the padding down below and then the carbon fiber print. And then here are the seats, they are cloth. You can see all down the center as well. Now legroom back here is actually pretty good and headroom is also good as well. Now this has stadium seating, so these back seats are higher than the front seats. So you guys can see we've got like a really good viewpoint of what's happening. It's definitely interesting. And overall, I think these are pretty nice. I do like that design. Here's kind of a closer look. I think it's cool. Now take a look at the front door panel. You guys can see soft touch here at the top then cloth trim and then more soft touch down below. Carbon fiber print here with all of our window controls. Driver window is automatic. You got your mirror adjustments and then there's a quick look at the mirrors. So here is the front seat. You guys can see with all of the cloth trim, it is manually adjustable. And then you guys can see we've got our stability control here, lane departure and then our collision avoidance. And then also we've got a manually adjustable steering wheel. And yep, we got to do this. So here is the steering wheel, uh, pretty basic with the kind of design and material use, but it all makes sense. Cruise control, we've got voice command, phone controls, volume controls, all of that. And then you guys can see stocks there on the back for like the windshield wipers and then turn signal and light stock. And then here is the gauge cluster. You guys can see pretty simple speed, RPMs, lets us know that we need some gas and lets us know the temperature outside. Now the lighting is horrible with this shot, but here's the back of the camera. It does have trajectory lines. They don't turn with the steering wheel, but resolution on it's decent. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, um, what I've noticed about Mitsubishi's infotainment systems is they're very simplistic, um, but they've got analog controls for the volume and tuner buttons, and they're really responsive. Like, as you can see, I press the buttons and pretty much just instantly happens. Of course, we've got our hazard lights right there, and then you guys can see climate uh, control, single zone climate, and then we've got a little charging port area with our eco mode there. And then we actually have heated seats in this, and this is for our all wheel drive mode. And then shifter here for that CVT. Got a regular brake here, and then you got some cup holders. And storage space is pretty decent. Smaller for the center console. Got some padding there. And speaking of padding, the dash also is kind of like soft touch. 
And then you guys can see we've got some carbon fiber print behind the infotainment system. And looks like we've got a big glove box. Wow, pretty crazy. And then we do have a manual mirror dimmer as well. So here's our window sticker for this Eclipse Cross. Um, pretty much everything standard equipment on this. Um, there's the Rally Art Welcome Package, which gives you floor mats and stuff. It's like 200 bucks basically. But anyways, total MSRP, $31,835. And let's see how it drives. Forgot I had to put this thing in. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, both the rest of the rear, and well, let's eclipse cross away. I'm actually pretty excited to do this review because it says a turbocharged four cylinder. Um, I wonder if this will make its way into other Mitsubishis in the lineup. Imagine this in like the Mirage. I just reviewed a Mirage. Thing has like 80 horse, literally 80 horsepower. <laughs> Brand new car, 80 horsepower. Um, so yeah, I mean, with this with this powertrain in the Mirage, that thing would be pretty pretty quick. But anyways, um, first off, seat cover's pretty good. Do have a pretty upright seating position. I think that that was definitely a focus with this particular car. And it's a super windy day today. You guys probably noticed with uh, all the videos that I'm filming today, it's probably gonna be some wind noise, sadly. Just stuff I gotta deal with. Um, but yeah, I mean, it seems like the cabin's pretty decently insulated overall and yeah when it comes to ride quality it's actually pretty good it's smooth too so i think they've done a good job see the handling handles pretty well definitely some punch from the turbocharged engine that's just barely getting into it so it's got good torque it which is good because we're at high elevation here so it's definitely something you want to have that's annoying. I barely, barely went over. And it's getting angry. Um, yeah, it's so smooth with the power delivery. That's something that I find very impressive with this. Yeah, really comfortable. So I think they've done a good job with all of that. Yeah, I like how this drives. Honestly, this is like a, for a, you know, CUV crossover, whatever you want to call it, drives really well. And it handles well too. I feel like Mitsubishi's are kind of underrated. Everyone looks past them because of the, and I, I just don't even think people consider them, honestly. I, I, I think that a lot of people don't even realize that like, you can buy a Mitsubishi in the US market. Like they, they still make these brand new. Everyone's looking at Toyota and Honda and all that and you know, this thing, like I said, it drives shockingly well. So I'll get like a full acceleration once we get past this little area. But to sort of sum things up, um, I think I like the, I like this car uh, quite a bit. Like, you know, touch points are pretty good. For, again, considering the price point, like you've got soft touch up here, um, padding where you're going to rest your arm. Also on the center console, it's pretty nicely padded as well. Um, all the controls make sense. Everything's easy to use. Um, again, nothing in this feels particularly like nice or upscale, but it, it all like, it looks like, you know, the, the design overall is, it's pretty good. Like they've done a pretty good, like this thing right here that goes across above the glove box. I think that looks pretty good. Um, you know, doing some of the carbon fiber print throughout. I think that also looks pretty good as well. And, you know, honestly, this has a pretty similar, you know, build quality feel like touching on the stuff. People are gonna get really mad about this, but it feels pretty similar to Toyota, honestly. Like, eh, maybe a little bit, maybe, I, it's, it's pretty, I mean, especially the Toyotas that are built in like Mexico. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is pretty, pretty dang similar when it comes to build quality. So it's putting that out there. Yeah, good torque, good torque, that's for sure. But we'll get like a full, full acceleration here in a moment. Sorry, I'm dragging. I guess I'm like kind of dragging this video on a little bit. Sorry about that, but I didn't expect there to be this much traffic. Okay, now we should be able to get a full-blown acceleration. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty quick. So let me know what you guys think about the Eclipse Cross.